Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or wherever you are when you're watching this video. It's me, Naturally, and today I am coming, not busted nor disgusted, but with a fresh wash. Yes, I am staying committed and true to my word, and I'm keeping my bond treatment reconstruction venture going. And I must be honest with you. Um, first, excuse the sniffles, and excuse if my voice sounds a little raspy because the pollen is pollening. And me and my allergies, we're just not taking this very well. But anyway, back to what I was saying. What I can tell you guys is, I think this bonding journey might be working. I might not have to cut out my hair off. <laughs> and when I say that, what I mean is when I let my air, when I let my hair, excuse me, initially air dry, um, I felt like the curls were coming back for the curls. And they were ready to be bounced, to be getting bouncing. And I was like, okay, come through, curls. But anyway, I digress. So for my wash day, I did use the Texture ID Clarifying Shampoo. Let me get that to focus for you guys. For all hair types. Why am I using a clarifying shampoo? Because the bond treatment asks for product-free hair. And I believe personally that the best way to get product free hair is to clarify your hair again like i stated in my previous videos it's not good to always clarify your hair because you are robbing yourself of its natural oils and you actually need those oils and i also use the texture id three times moisture conditioner cream Hopefully, y'all can see that. Plus, honey, for all hair types again. What I did different this time that I would do a lot of the times is I conditioned my hair first because what I noticed last time was my hair was extremely tangled and I did not detangle my hair. And the best way I feel like detangling my hair to ensure the least amount of hair loss is to do it on wet hair with product in it. What's the best product to detangle your hair? Conditioner. Duh. Well, it might not be a dumb moment for everybody because everybody don't know that. That's a secret or a trick that I like to do. So, I did put conditioner on my hair before I shampooed it. In the two sections, combed them out. Less hair loss, although I did lose hair. It was less than I did the last time, which is a good thing for me. Because I ain't trying to go bow. I'm trying to fix this mess. Anyway, so I did that before I shampooed. I rinsed that out. Then I shampooed my hair. Then I went in with the Curlsmith Bonding Rehab Salve. Again, I still hate the way it smells, but I did what I had to do. Best thing about this product is it has the porosity of your hair on the back and your directions depend on your porosity. I have high porosity hair. How do I know that? Because the water sits on my hair rather than the water absorbing in my hair or my hair getting extremely dry as soon as water touches it. I have high porosity hair, so the bottle says to leave it on for 15 minutes and I am following instructions because I am protein sensitive and I don't feel like having uh, a bell of straw on my head. So I do what I'm supposed to do when I'm supposed to do it so then after that i did rinse that out and then i went in with my deep conditioner it is a pivotal pivotal regimen requirement that you deep condition your hair it keeps your hair moisturized it keeps your hair from being ultimately drizzy drizzy dry because you don't want desert on top of your head 
So, I went in with a new conditioner, and I must say, I did love it. It is the 8-in-1 Protein Reconstructor. It has soy protein, wheat protein, avocado oil, and shea moisture. And again, it is Texture ID for all hair types. I don't know if, because I'm using all Texture ID um, products, were mostly all Texture ID products, and that's the reason why the feeling of my hair was so good, but I did love it. It left my hair soft. It did not have the adverse effect that I did think it was going to have because it is a protein reconstructor. And again, I am protein sensitive. So that was a good thing. Also, it has avocado in it. My hair does love avocado, even though I don't like avocados personally. But my hair loves it, you know. So each is her own and she is her own person. Then after that, I put a... Shea Moisture, uh, old time favorite of mine, a leave-in conditioner. I just let my hair air dry and do what it was going to do before I added any more products in it because something that I've also learned is to reduce flaking. When you put a gel on your hair, is to let your leave-in conditioner sit. Let it absorb in your hair. Let it have its own time because once I put that gel on top of a fresh leave-in i'm going to have flakes and i want to avoid flakes at all costs because it's just not attractive so i did what i had to do and i went all about my good old day and then i came back put me some gel on did my style process which i will link in another video on my wash and go because it ain't really a wash and go. It's a wash and take forever. And then you can go. But y'all can watch that on another video. I'll link it above with the I. So, I did that. Now, today's video, as you can tell by the title, it's not about my bun reconstructing. It's not about the products I use. Even though this was a wonderful product. And I would recommend it. And it left my hair so so soft and it's a part of my bonding experience my hair is not doing it today my video is not about that today today my video is about my handy dandy diffuser yes the diffusing process is what we're talking about today now i've watched several videos several natural hair girls do the whole diffusing process. Some girls cup like that with the diffuser to let their hair dry. Some girls go downward. Some girls stretch it out and then diffuse. Some girls just tap it on in. I'm a little variety of a good combination of them. But what I don't do, because I have learned from experience, and this is a learn from my experience, learn from my traumas learn from my fails mistakes and all of the above type of channel i have learned that cupping allows shrinkage to be ultimately the realest thing you experience so i'm going to show you how i diffuse my hair along with what i think is a little bit of stretching a lot of people do stretching differently but this is how i do my hair to make my hair shrink less now, do I hold the Holy Grail on this? No, this is just what I do. So, I'm going to show you how I diffuse my hair when I'm doing a wash and go styling type of day. Sometimes, I'm going to be honest, I just leave my hair like this and I go outside, but then I tend to get the little flat head, the little helmet hair, the little hat hair, and it is not cute. Especially not on this big old round, oh my god. Mm, yeah, so diffusing is probably my best go. So I'm going to show you how I diffuse my hair. This will be sped up so you don't got to sit through what I'm about to have to sit through. But I'm going to diffuse it. I am going to leave my hair 80% dry. It's not going to dry fully. And then I'll let the air do the rest because I do think that that helps with my volume. My personal opinion, I might change my mind along the way because, you know, I'm, you know, just living the life of a girly girl and still change like the seasons. 
and the seasons don't stay consistent. The seasons not even the seasons all season long. Let's not start on global warming. Okay, I'm done talking. Let's diffuse. Hold on. Water. basically how I diffuse my hair and I know you see I have some clumpy ringlets which I will not pull apart until a day two because I don't want to make it frizzy it's already frizzy enough these parts of my hair that do not curl because they are the most damaged parts but then like they never really gave me the best curl anyway so I just chalked it up to the game because it is what it is. And all your hair is not created equal. Um, there are things that I can do to make it curl. But I think I've talked about that on different videos too. But if you watch my videos, you know what I do. If you don't, I'll do it again one day. But basically, that's how I diffuse my hair. So let me explain my process. So I basically go in with my blow dryer. I hope I never burn this blow dryer out because I love it. It has the best settings. But anyway, it has a cool, warm, and hot. I normally put it on the warm. I'm not really a fan of heat on my hair because it does disrupt my curls. But I'm able to feel how hot it gets on my head so that I'm able to use this beautiful blue button, which is my cold shot. So I hit this every so often when I think it's getting a little too hot. Then I have my normal low, medium, high, and I keep it on the high because I have a lot of hair and I wanna do it as fast as possible. Um, That's the fastest way I've ever found diffusing my hair. So, 
Yeah, that's how I diffuse. I elongate by pulling. Some girls elongate by going in and hitting their roots as they pull. Some girls don't elongate. They just let their hair do what it's going to do. And I love that for them too. But for me, I don't want my hair to be extra short. Some girls diffuse their hair doing this, which allows your hair to scrunch, which makes it draw up even more. And it's going to naturally do that because it is curly. And I want gravity to have the best advantage. So I pull it down because gravity pulls us down. And that's just what I do because I like it like that. Now, for my strands in the front, I try to finger twist, which is what I think I've said in another video that I do to the back of my hair because it doesn't cooperate. It's only like this much of hair all the way around. And it just don't. It just don't. I just don't know why. I just don't. So that is how I diffuse my natural hair. If you have any tips, tricks, comments, concerns, questions, you want to tell me, girl, you silly. Why you going to do all that? <laughs> if you want to tell me that I'm silly for doing my hair like that, do what you want. Say what you want. I'm going to call me and back because that's just what I do. I ain't going to block you because you ain't blocked me because you can always subscribe. Because it's what? Free. And if it's free, it's who? Me. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications with the bell, the little ring a ding ding sign symbol so that you can get a bell every time I post a video. Because I'm back on my grind and content is coming every week. And follow me on Instagram so you can see how my hair has survived using the gel that i use oh i didn't say the gel that i use i use eco style gel i know it's be controversial you know whatever i don't use it all the time i just used it this one time because i knew it wasn't gonna flake on me but i used the one with the black castor oil and shea butter in it i did use that on my hair it's supposed to have a tin hold but it doesn't have, really have a tin hold on my hair maybe because i don't use a lot of it You'll see me distribute my good little ringlets, which I love so much. They give me my curly suit vibe. You'll see all that on my Instagram, so make sure you follow me naturally on IG. I'm working on the TikTok, trying not to get on TikTok because I know I'm going to get addicted. That's neither here nor there, but you know I'm going to do my thing. And what else? Oh, yeah, subscribe. Duh. Bye, y'all. See y'all in the next video.